Now you may have seen my other video where I look at this. This is the KX adapter and means you can use a mouse and a keyboard with your Nintendo Switch. But there were a couple of major drawbacks with it. Well, I think I found the solution. This bad boy. This is the K5PXN adapter and it means you can use your mouse and your keyboard with your Nintendo Switch exactly the way that you want. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hello and welcome to Console Accessories. I'm staying safe and I hope you're looking after each other. And this is Friday's video. We're doing a video now every Tuesday and every Friday at the same time. It's gonna be 7, 7 p.m. UK time, 8 p.m. in Europe, East Coast America, 11 a.m. and the West Coast, it'll be 2 p.m. So all the same time, video is gonna drop on a Tuesday and on a Friday. Starting off with today's video on the Friday. Okay, so really appreciate it. Stick a thumbs up if you like this video. Do subscribe around here and stick the notifications on and then you'll be alerted to the when, when, the, when the videos drop. And today's video is a bit special because as I said in the introduction, we have looked at this before. This is the KX adapter. This means you can use your, your mouse and your keyboard with your switch, but it's had a couple of glaring errors and it's all out of stock at the minute. And it's, it's okay, it works okay, but a lot of people have had a lot of problems with it and there's a few issues with it that's it's okay, but it's not the best. Whereas today we're gonna to be looking at this. It's the K5 PXN adapter. And it means you can use your keyboard and your mouse with your Nintendo Switch. Also works for PS4, uh, Xbox, and PS3, I believe as well, but we're not interested in that for this video. For this video, we're going to be concentrating on working it, getting it working with the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is the do-it-all of keyboard adapters. It's dead easy to set up. It's exactly the same as it was before, but there's a few extra bits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break the video down. We're gonna first do an unboxing and then we're gonna explain what keybinds are. Then we're gonna do the setup procedure on how to set this up with your switch. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the keybinds in Windows. Then we're gonna look at troubleshooting and then we're gonna do some frequently asked questions. And I'll leave the timestamps for all where they are. And right at the end, what we're gonna do is these are currently out of stock at the minute. I paid 32 pounds on Amazon to get myself one of these. They're out of stock. I can't find them anywhere. If you can find one, get one, but if you can't, I'm gonna tell you how you can get one. I'm gonna be giving one away. Okay, so right at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how you can get yourself one of these, and I will post this out to anywhere in the world so you can get hold of yourself one of these for free. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing, shall we? So this is how it comes, and it's, first impression, it's quite hefty, so I've already boxed this up, so there's a few bits in here, but I'll, I'll explain why. It's, this is it. This is quite a hefty piece, okay? So it feels quality. It's got a nice design on the top and they're all LEDs. Explain that in a bit. Nothing on the sides. And on the front, you have your keyboard, uh, your mouse, your controller, and a headset icon there with a 3.5 adapter. And then on the back, USB Type-C for power. And then on the bottom, it's kind of rubberized, so it gives it a nice bit of grip when you're sticking it on the table, which is good. And it, like I say, it feels like a hefty piece of kit. So let's get it weighed. Yes, yeah, so nearly 150 grams. It's a, it's a bit of a beast. It feels, it feels quality, which is really nice. So it feels really good. There we go, that's that. And then else in the box, what you also get is an instruction manual. So there's, um, other languages and right in the middle there is the language that I understand and it tells you how to use it and more importantly it tells you this which will tell you exactly what keys on the keyboard corresponds to which button on the switch okay so that and then this which is a decent length a couple of meters long USB type C cable great and then this Okay, so this will plug into here, and it says it's just for the Xbox and the PS4. You plug that in, you would plug that in so you could have your headphones, and so that would be, pink would be for the voice, and that would just be for the headphones. 
Um, but it, what does work with Switch as well, you can just plug a headphone in there if you want to, and you can hear all the games that have native voice chat. You just plug that in there. You don't need this unless your head, um, as headset has got a separate uh, voice and um, headset output. Okay, so we'll just leave that in there. And we don't need the instructions because I know what to do. I'm going to explain it all. There you go. And that's what you get in the box. Really nice, feels really good quality. Okay, so what we're going to go on to now is set up, um, so explaining what keybinds are. Okay, what I want to do now is explain what keybinds are. There are three types of keybinds. Now, the first one is through the Nintendo Switch firmware itself. So if you go onto the settings and into controllers, you can change the keybinds on your controller. So for example, if you wanted to swap A and B, you can do. So all you do is you go into the settings and you say, I want A, I want to be B, and B to be A, vice versa. That they would be swapped. The reason for that is maybe in, let's say for example, a game like um, Fortnite, you may want jump to be on B, but in the game, you have to press A to jump. Well, if you go into the Nintendo Switch firmware, you can swap that over, therefore jump would be on that. Um, I can't see much benefit to doing th this way, to be honest, because um, there's a negative of it changes for all games. So it doesn't matter what game you're playing, A and B will be swapped. Well, that doesn't help for things like Fortnite, if you'd wanted to be jump, but you go back into Animal Crossing, you're thinking, well, B's back. Well, it's not now, because B is actually A, and oh, it just gets confusing. Okay, so that's the first key binding. You can do that in the switch settings, but I would leave that alone because there are two more different key binds. The second version is in-game. So in games for certain things like Fortnite and for Overwatch, you can change the buttons. So for example, if you wanted jump, let's use the example of jump again. You want to jump to be on the ZR for Overwatch, but you want to jump to be ZL on Fortnite, all you do is go into the settings of Fortnite and you say, I want jump, whichever button jump is, to be on this button. So let's say, for example, jump is A. You would say, I want the A key to actually be that. Therefore, it would be jump. And that would affect no other game apart from Fortnite. And then in Overwatch, you'd go into Overwatch and you would say, I want jump to be on this key. Therefore, it would change, you would be jumping on this key. And that would change for only for Overwatch and no other game. So it's a much better version. Now there is a third version of keybinds, which is specifically for your keyboard. Now, when you have this adapter, it tells you in the manual which keys you have to use, okay? You have to use W, A, S, D, uh, R, F, and C. Um, there's a few others that you have to use. So straight out of the box, for example, the L key does nothing. Okay, you can press that and mash it. If you've got it all connected up and it all works beautifully, L does zip, does absolutely nothing. Well, there's software for this that you can change this so you can have L to be whatever you want. With the old KX adapter, you couldn't do that. There was no software to be able to change this. In this version, there is a Windows application that's official that comes with the, that um, you just download from the website for the, for the adapter that means that you can change L to be anything you want. So for example, if you wanted W, S, and D, but when you wanted to press forward, you didn't want to press W, you wanted to press L. Yes, if you wanted to. You could add, yes. Back, left and right, left and right, forward, backwards, forward and backwards, forward and backwards, if you wanted to. So you can customize your keyboard however you want. And that is the best way of key binding. Combining kind of like the game settings with this. So for example, if you wanted build to be on return, build mode, you could change that. So build mode, let's say for example, build mode in Fortnite is on the up D-pad, for example. You then change the up D-pad in your settings on the Windows PC to be return. So it goes bang, you're in build settings. Whereas you wouldn't have been able to do that with the old adapter, you can with this one. And I will explain it um, later on exactly how to do that. Okay, so there's a quick rundown of the three types of bindings. There's bindings for the Switch firmware, not great. There's bindings within the settings, which you might change quite a bit, and there's bindings 
by changing this with all the keyboard settings, which is, the, which is absolutely fantastic, which is absolutely what you need. Okay, so there's all the three uh, sets of key bindings. Now we're gonna move on to the setup procedure. Okay, here we are. We're, now we're gonna go and set this up. So what you have to do first of all is grab your Pro Controller, make sure it's connected, and then go into System Settings, go down to Controllers and Sensors, and just make sure that Pro Controller Wired Communication is set to On. Okay, and then go back out, and also what you wanna do is turn this Pro Controller off. It just helps because later on, if you will find out it works in the menu and it doesn't work in the game, it's because you've got another controller connected. And the easiest way to turn this off is going into the controllers and going change grip order and you'll see that the LEDs are lit there. Now they're not lit. Okay, so once you're at that stage, we're gonna start connecting this up. So I've got my mouse and my keyboard. So this is my keyboard one here and it goes into the slot, obviously, that has got the picture of the keyboard on it. And then the mouse, that slots into the one next to it. With the switch, you don't need to plug a controller in. If you're on the, using it for the PS4, Xbox One or PS3, you do need to plug another controller in there. But for the switch, you don't, you just need those two. Okay, then grab the USB-C cable that came in the pack. Plug it in the front of there, and then plug it into the dock, into the mat, and then it starts lighting up. Now I know that my keyboard and my mouse are connected because they've lit up. It's not fully connected with the switch. All I know is just connected to the adapter because they've lit up. If yours doesn't light up, just give it a couple of seconds. And if this is breathing, it's, it's all good. And then as with the other adapter, the way you, you, the way you connect this to the switch is by hitting control and two. So if you look at the color of that, if I hit control and two, it flashes the red. Just give it a few seconds. And then what we can do is we can hit A, and A, when you look in the manual, is the space bar. There we go. Okay, so we're ready. Uh, the home key is escape, so, so we press escape. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into Fortnite and just show you a few of the settings for it. Okay, here we are in a creative in a map, and I just wanna tell you first, quickly, you can change the sensitivity on the fly, okay? So first things first, what you wanna do is when you get into your, your game, is change it on F3 and F4. So F3 would decrease sensitivity, F4 would increase it. And I've already done that, and I've got myself into a nice sensitivity. And impressions are, it's great. It feels really sensitive. There's, there's no lag here. I'm not feeling any lag at all. You won't have any problems with this. Really pleased, really pleased. Okay, then the next thing to do is you want to go into your settings. You remember I was saying about the three mappings. The first one was the, was the switch mapping. The second one was the in-game mappings. That's what we're going to look at now. We're going to look at the map, the in-game mappings. So I need to press plus on the pro controller, which is mapped to caps lock. So press that. And then we're going to go down. Settings, press A. And then we're going to R along. So R is in E and the Q is L if I need it. But I'm going to go along all the way along here to combat controls. And you'll see on the left there, it says old school, quick builder, combat pro, builder pro, or custom. So first up, go to custom. And this is where you could change it all. But if you if you kind of leave it at that for the minute and just come all the way out, uh, and then we'll save that by hitting B, which is the C key, here. What you notice is that when we change it into builder mode, as you can see down the icons there, we've got ZR, R, ZL, L, and Y on the, those, all those, those functions. So in the next section, I'm gonna tell you how you can change these keys. But essentially what you can do is you can have kind of four keys there if you want to, one, two, three, and four, to have your four different kind of build modes, okay? So at the moment, so uh, we can build a wall there. And let's do something else there. Let's do a platform there. So on, on the straight on the key, it's that key will do a platform and that will do a wall. Okay, so you can do it really quickly if you want to. Okay, so flick into switch mode and then in there. It's you're gonna it's gonna it's gonna hugely improve your building. Okay? So you, you play about with that and at the moment and also if I look on here on so if I want to do stairs which are which is currently ZL if you can see that on the screen, ZL is the right mouse is mapped as the right mouse so if you want to do stairs just press the right mouse key 
Okay, you keep building stairs as, as quick as you like, and then we've got the obviously got this one, and then if you want to do a platform again, let's get a one there, platform there, and a platform there. You can just build these, and you can you can. But at the moment, you didn't need to learn where they are. You can change these, so you can have it in here if you want to. One, two, three, and four, entirely up to you. But I'll show you that in the next section. Okay, so first impressions, really pleased with this. This feels great hardly any lag and you can build super quick okay okay there's, there's a quick demonstration for you um, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna whip over and I'm gonna show you how you can change your settings on your keyboard so here we are now and I want to tell you the third method of keybinds so a quick refresh the first one was the switch firmware keybinds not great the second one was the uh, in-game settings which you might want to tweak but not before you tweak your keyboard settings so at the moment as I said you can only use a set number of keys but with a bit of software that you download from the official website of the adapter you can change that to be any key on your keyboard okay so it only works on Windows it doesn't work on Mac and now I've only got one Windows PC in my house and it was up in my loft so I dug that out it's about six years old the battery's gone but it managed to work uh, with it completely plugged in. So plugged it in, got the software going, and I've done it. I can't show you any footage from it, but I can show you some screen grabs, okay? So I will put them up there just to show you. And essentially what you do, dead easy, is you plug this, the USB, into your computer. You fire up this, this application that you download from the website, and the link is in the, um, the manual to get it. And it's a very simple program. It has basically tabs at the top to tell you which uh, console you want to change it for. So we're going to change it for the switch. So you click on the switch and then it says it shows you a picture of a controller and shows you which one you want to change. So for example, if you wanted to change the B button, you'd select the B. It would then bring up a picture of a keyboard and you tell it which key you want that B to be. So for example, if in um, Fortnite you wanted your uh, three, let's say three keys you want to be for building. If you want uh, platform, stairs, and maybe um, oh, just a, like a wall, okay? You wanted those three. You can say in the settings that's currently ZL, maybe ZR and B, I'm not sure. You would then set ZL, ZR, and B on these three if these are the three you want. Stock, you can't use these three keys. There's a few other keys, as we said, you can't, a few other keys you can't use you can with this software you just change it to where you want it to be it'll take a bit of planning so you'll probably need a piece of paper and a pen to work out which keys you want to do what but to make life easier you can use any keys you want so for example what might be easier is the the, the four different types of building you might one two three and four there so you can and then just whack it down whack one down whack, one down, whack another one down it's in, it's entirely up to you you can you can change it however you want to that's completely the limitations of the kx adapter that you couldn't change the keys that the manual said you had to use but with this one you can you can use any key on the keyboard and you just have to download this software that's completely free so you just download it and you run it and it's dead easy you can also save it so once you've got it all set up perfectly the way you want it you can save it as a Fortnite version then you might want to have a different layout for overwatch and you can save that as an overwatch you can't unfortunately change them on the fly you have to go back into the software and plug it in and change it kind of upload it change it so that's a bit of a downside you can't change it on the fly but nevertheless just pick the game you want it for and stick with that one and change it on the in-game settings but that's a really really good feature that means you can use any keyboard any key on the keyboard that you want to absolutely fantastic superb piece of kit really really enjoying this okay right so that's it for now and now what we're going to go on to we're going to go on to some troubleshooting tips for you okay so when i did the video for the kx adapter i kept getting asked um, the same few questions because people were having some problems with it i just want to go over um, a couple of things that you might want to try if it doesn't work Okay, so first things first, what I would try first is if it doesn't work for you, which it should do out of the box, I've had no problems at all with this, whatever. But if you do have problems, first up, first thing to try is just very easy, change the USB 
Okay, just try a different one. There's three on the dock, there's one on the inside, and there's two there. Just try a different one. Okay, that's the first thing to try. Next thing to try if you can is change your keyboard and mouse. I got asked a lot of questions about, does it work with every keyboard and mouse? I've got a Logitech. It's a, it's a well-known brand, it's gonna work with these. So I don't know about any other brands that can't test them all because I, I can't buy every single keyboard. So if you can, swap your keyboard over, swap your mouse over, see if that makes a difference. Okay, and as I mentioned before, another thing to try is making sure that you've turned the wireless, the wired settings to on in the Pro Controller in the settings, which I mentioned earlier. That's another thing to try. And finally as well, make sure that your Pro Controller is off. And the easy way to do that is going to the Joycon settings down the bottom of the home screen and then go change order and that will turn your, your Pro Controller off. Okay, so try all those four first, see how you get on. Hopefully that will have solved it. But if it hasn't and you've got any other issues, do let me know and I'll try and help. I mean, I don't know any outs. This has never failed for me, so I haven't actually had to do any troubleshooting with it. So I hope you get on okay with it. Okay, and then next up, we're just gonna go through a few of the frequently asked questions that I get asked on the other video, and hopefully we can clear a few things up for that. Okay, so a few of the frequently asked questions I get are, uh, firstly, does it work with any keyboard and mouse? Um, like I said in the, the, the um, troubleshooting, I've got a Logitech, it's gonna work with this because it's a well-known brand. It should work, the manual says it does work with most of them, but some random keyboard and mouse manufacturers, I'm not sure. So, But if you've got a, a well-known brand, like an HP or Logitech, it's gonna work with that, no problem. And does it work with a wireless keyboard and mouse? I'm going to do another video on that. I'm going to test this. I'm going to put, because some keyboard and mouse have one USB, kind of uh, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz uh, adapter, I'm not sure if it's going to work putting it in there or not. So I'm going to test that and I'm going to do a separate video on whether it works with a wireless one or not. And also, can I use a keyboard and mouse without this? Uh, in, a, in an answer, no. Okay, you can't. You can use the keyboard for typing if you plug it in, nothing else. You can't, you can't use it, okay? So you need an adapter. If you want to use a keyboard and mouse on the Switch, you need an adapter. Next question is, I get this a lot, can I get banned? And I answer this, I can't tell you, you won't get banned, okay? Because that wouldn't be very responsible of me. But what it does is this replicates a pro controller. So your switch thinks by using this, you are using a controller. Okay, next up, can I use it on the switch light? Yes, you can. You can use it on the switch light and on the switch handheld. You need one of these which is a USB to USB adapter. There's nothing special about this. I've got this for a few quid off Amazon and it works if you plug it into the bottom of the switch, uh, handheld and the switch light. It's not very reliable, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I had to play about with it and change about the settings a bit, but it's much more preferable if you use it docked because you're gonna have a keyboard. I don't think, I don't see why, but you might want to, but you'd need one of them. Okay, and finally, people want to know is how do I get one of these okay I'll leave a link below where you can get one of these off Amazon but unfortunately it's sold out and if it's anything like what we did with the KX adapter uh, we pretty much sold them out because my video was quite popular and everyone went out and bought one so these are going to be hard to come by if you can see it in stock then get one but I'm also now going to tell you how you can get hold of one of these so what we're going to do is we're going to run a little competition, okay? I want you to comment below anything, anything nice and friendly, comment below about this adapter, uh, whether you like the lights or whether you like the shape or whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna comment. If it's a question, that, that'll count. And if you've subscribed to the channel and if you've commented, I will give you this one. I will send this one to anyone in the, U the UK or abroad. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, I will get this shipped out to you. I want to get to 5,000 subscribers, okay? Currently on about two and a half, so let's double it, and as soon as I hit that double, I will send this out to someone, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to go onto my Twitter, and I want you to uh, retweet the video tweet I've done of this one. So look on my Twitter, and I'll 
just look for the video that says we're doing it for this adapter, which will be my most recent tweak. Go onto that, retweet that to all your friends, share this video, send it to anyone, post it on all the websites. Let's get to 5,000 subscribers and then this could be winging its way to you because this is fantastic. Like I said, we did the KX adapter before, which is good, but it had a few limitations. This is brilliant. I mean, it looks, starters, it looks good with this light on here. It feels good. It works impeccably, and it has everything you'd want to be able to use a mouse and a keyboard on your Nintendo Switch. I can't see why you wouldn't get anything else other than this. Absolutely love this, absolutely love it. Like I said, I only paid 32 pounds for this, but at the moment you can't get it, and I haven't found anywhere to get it. But Let's get to 5,000 subscribers. Let's get this sent out to some of them. So subscribe, like the video, comment below, share it as much as you can. It would really mean a lot to me. Okay, thanks very much then. I hope it's been useful. I hope you found something that you, you like in the video. I really do appreciate it. And until the next video, bye-bye.